guys, so we're just going to jump right in, and I'm going to take that first shade called Sherbert, and with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to put this all around my crease, and this is going to be the transition shade for this look. I've already primed my eyes and set them just with my regular face powder. Um, we're just going to buff this right around, a little bit over the crease, not directly in there, and just make sure that we get seamless transition and that there are no harsh lines. I'm going to go in with that shade Buttery and a flat shader brush. This is one from Sonia Kashuk. And I'm going to place that right underneath the brow bone to highlight. And I wanted more of a matte shade since we're going to do more shimmer on the eyelids. So I kind of want to keep this a little bit more simple. I'm going to take a Sigma E25 in the color Hot Chocolate. And this is like a dark brown hints of burgundy in there and I'm going to place this color directly into my crease. So since this is going to basically be the only crease color I'm doing, I really want to make sure that I blend this color out. So I'm just adding little by little and blending. So I'm not taking a whole bunch of product, I'm just taking you know small amounts and kind of blending around my eye and then adding more. And you can kind of build the intensity that you want and I kind of want this to be a little intense. So I'm going to be adding that color a lot. And just so you guys can kind of see on the other side of my eye and putting this directly into the crease. Then I'm going to take that first a fluffy brush. This is a Sigma E40 and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out that hot chocolate that I put directly into my crease because I do want it to be intense but I do not want any harsh lines and after any eyeshadow application just make sure to blend it out and you can always add more product to intensify it if you lost some color. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Hot and Cold with a MAC 242 brush and I'm going to pat that right onto my lid and then I even went ahead and added some max fix plus to intensify this color and you can just leave this color on its own I think it's really pretty but I actually went ahead and added another color I took that same Sigma 242 brush and I went in with the color champagne and I placed that right on top of that hot and cold shade just to kind of give it change up the color a little bit give it a little bit more sparkle but I kind of like this color combination combined. You still have some of that brown, but this adds a little bit more shimmer. You could even go ahead and maybe just add this in the center, but I kind of wanted it all over the lid. Then I'm going to go in with a clean fluffy brush and I'm just blending all that out. I'm blending out the champagne shade that I added, you know, with the hot and cold shade and then the hot chocolate just so that everything has a really nice seamless transition. Then I'm just here, I'm going in with some makeup wipes and I'm cleaning off the edges. That's why I kind of like doing my eye makeup before my face makeup. Then I'm going to go in with the Cover FX Illuminating Primer and I'm going to put this all over my face because I kind of like or prefer more of a glow to my foundation. Then I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer and I'm about to run out. <laughs> I got mine in the color number 3 but I love this for any face blemishes that I might have. And I'm just using a Sonia Kashuk Concealer Brush and I'm just placing that under any areas that might have redness or a couple blemishes because this covers up really, really well. A little bit goes a long way. Then I'm just going in with my Beauty Butter just to kind of blend that out a little bit in preparation for foundation. The one I'm going to be using is the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. This is a newer foundation I've been wanting to try because I heard this one is more on the dewy side as, as opposed to the other regular HD foundation. So I'm going to be testing it out and I'll let you guys know how I like it. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with the Beauty Blender and just uh, blend that out. I'm going to go in with the NYX Dark Circle Concealer and I'm going to use a Real Techniques brush really, really lightly just kind of patting this underneath my dark circles and I'm not bringing this down because this is just focusing on the dark circles to kind of cancel out that, you know, blackish purple color. Then I'm going to go in with the Sephora Gel Concealer. This is a newer product by the actual Sephora brand. And I'm going to use this to highlight. And using the dark concealer before, it keeps this, since it's a lighter color, it's not going to cover the dark circles like the orange concealer will. 
Um, so that's why I'm using that. Also, I'll have a review about this as well. <laughs> but, you know, I'm testing out these products. I just got them. Uh, and I'm going to put that down the bridge of my nose, chin, cupid's bow, anywhere I kind of want to highlight. Then as well, I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender and blend all of that out. I love the Beauty Blender to blend out concealer, foundation. It is just so quick and so easy. If you're having problems kind of blending out, especially under the eye, that's so hard. Honestly, a Beauty Blender or the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, those are really, really great. They just blend that out so seamlessly. Then I'm going to go in with the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And I'm actually going to take that beige color. Sorry, I forgot to show you guys, but I'm just taking that underneath my eyes and using that to set my concealer. If you guys have a problem with your concealer creasing, use a very lightweight powder, something that's not too heavy, and it'll help kind of set your concealer, keep it in place all day. Then I'm going to go back in with a pencil brush and that sherbet color, and I'm just using this for underneath my lash line just to kind of add a little bit of balance down there. I just feel like it brings everything together, connecting the top shadows with the bottom ones. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the L'Oreal Infallible. This is the Coal Pencil Liner. I really like this one for my uh, waterline. And I wear contacts and this does not smudge in my contacts, which is like a big thing for me. So if you're a contact lens wearer, you know. I love lining my waterline. Well, no, who loves it? I don't love it. But it, it makes a difference. But it's hard to find... Um, Eyeliners that do not get all over your contacts and then all you see are spots for the rest of the day Sometimes it's hard to clean your contacts. I'm even tight lining the top Waterline and that's never fun, but that also makes a difference with these kind of smoky looks also Not a fun step, but it does make a difference Then I'm gonna go back in with that hot chocolate shade and a flat definer brush and I'm just kind of blending, kind of taking this a little bit over that black liner and just defining my lash line and smoking everything out. Then going back in with that pencil brush and some more of that sherbet and blending that out so it's defined but it's not harsh. For my wing liner, I use the Maybelline Gel Studio Liner and I use the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. Now I'm going to take the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and just kind of set my foundation in preparation for contour just so that everything blends a lot easier. It does blend on powder better than on actual like, cream foundation. Now I'm going to take a mix of that light and medium contour shade and I'm just going to go ahead and add some definition to my face. Just kind of add that around my cheekbones and on the top temples of my face and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that underneath my jawline just to give my face a little bit more structure and a little bit more color a little bit of warmth most importantly some definition like I have a cheekbones <laughs> To clean up that contour, I'm taking that yellow shade from the Pro Contour Palette and just placing that underneath my contour that I did. It's a little bit messy, but with this, I can clean it up really, really nicely. So if you are a messy one, if you're in a rush, just clean it up with some powder. Then I'm going to take the Milani Berry Amore Blush and I'm going to take that on my cheeks. I like to bring mine a little bit higher. I don't like to put it right on the apples of my cheeks because I like to kind of do as I do with my contour. It kind of defines my face a little bit better, kind of raises my cheekbones a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with the Becca Champagne Pop Highlight and just highlight the tops of my cheekbones, basically all around my face. I love to highlight. It's hard not to. And then even kind of take that up a little bit above my eyebrow and then down my nose, um, the top of my lips. Just I just like to glow, okay? Then I'm going to take the Liquid Lipstick by Lipland in collaboration with Amrizi. And this is a very vampy color. You can definitely go ahead and use more of a nudie shade, but I decided to go dark with this color. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.